Megalodon. Megalodon stretched up to 18 meters, weighed over 60 tons, and had a bite force around 180,000 newtons, enough to crush a car like a soda can. Its teeth were 18 centimeters each, basically steak knives the size of your hand. And it didn't nibble. It removed chunks of whales. Scientists found whale bones with neat circular bite marks, like someone took a cookie cutter to them. But here's the funny part. It didn't live with dinosaurs. It ruled the seas millions of years later, from the Miocene to the Pliocene, before colder waters ended its reign. When Megalodon Megalodon disappeared, the ocean got quieter, but not for long. Helicoprion. Evolution literally put a circular saw inside its mouth because why not? This Permian predator, about six meters long, had a lower jaw that curled into a perfect spiral of teeth. Imagine brushing hmm. that every morning. For decades, scientists had no idea where that spiral fit. Some thought it was on the nose, others said the dorsal fin. Turns out it was inside the mouth, a rotating conveyor belt of pain. It didn't bite like normal sharks. It rolled its prey through the spiral, slicing as it went, and somehow it worked. Nature's weird experiments sometimes do. Dunkleosteus. Dunkleosteus, the medieval tank of the ocean. No teeth, just bone blades sharp enough to slice through armor. It lived 360 million years ago during the Devonian, back when fish ruled the planet and fashion was metal plating everywhere. This beast reached 6 to 10 meters with jaws that could snap shut in a 20th of a second. Bite force? Over 6,000 newtons. Imagine a crocodile wearing steel dentures. Didn't chew. It guillotined. Scientists believe it could bite a shark in half like tearing paper. Its fossilized armor looks like it was built by an angry blacksmith. All plates and scars. Camarachuras. Before sharks, before reptiles, there was this. A nightmare with tentacles. This Ordovician predator stretched up to 9 meters. A spear-shaped submarine armed with hooks. It wasn't a fish. It was a giant cephalopod. Basically a squid, wearing medieval armor. Inside that long, conical shell, a body of pure muscle. It moved by blasting jets of water and hunted with a beak sharp enough to bite through bone. It patrolled the ancient seas like a silent missile, grabbing trilobites fish, and anything that didn't swim fast enough to regret it. Imagine being eaten by a torpedo with tentacles. Yeah, evolution was still testing ideas back then. Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus, the T-Rex of the seas except with better aim and flippers. This 15-meter marine reptile wasn't a dinosaur. It was a distant cousin of snakes and monitor lizards. Picture a crocodile redesigned by a psychopath with an engineering degree. It had a double-hinged jaw that could swallow prey whole, sometimes other mosasaurs, because when food runs out, family's still on the menu. Fossils show it patrolled the shallow seas of the late Cretaceous, ambushing anything that moved. Fish, turtles, even pterosaurs dumb enough to dive too low. And yes, its ancestors crawled out of the water only for this guy to crawl back in. Evolution has a sense of humor. Leeds Ichthys. Leeds Ichthys, the gentle giant of prehistory. While everything else in the ocean had blades, claws, or bad intentions, this fish just ate plankton, a filter feeder the size of a house, up to 16 meters long, maybe 20 depending on which fossil you believe. It lived 165 million years ago during the Jurassic, gliding through seas full of killers, and somehow it survived. Its gills filtered thousands of liters of water every day, like an ancient vacuum cleaner with fins. But despite its size, it wasn't invincible. Its slow pace and soft body made it the perfect snack for faster hunters. The biggest fish was also the easiest target, Pliosaurus. Pliosaurus Pliosaurus, the name means master of the sea. And honestly, it earned it. This Cretaceous predator stretched up to 12 meters with a 6 meter neck. Basically a sea serpent built by a perfectionist. But don't let the elegance fool you. Pliosaurus wasn't graceful. It was patient. It floated silently, then struck like a spear. Its long neck let it sneak up on prey without moving the rest of its body. Stealth mode unlocked. It likely fed on fish and squid, swallowing them whole. And with a neck like that, chewing was optional. Fossils even show tiny stones in its belly. Gastroliths used for balance and maybe digestion. And when giants like these vanished, the ocean crowned a new monster, a mammal, Basilosaurus. Basilosaurus, the whale that wanted to be a snake. This Eocene predator, about 18 meters long, had the body of a serpent and the teeth of a killer. Its name means king lizard, which is funny because it wasn't a reptile at all. It was one of the first whales. Basilosaurus still had tiny hind legs, useless for swimming, but perfect for confusing scientists. It hunted dolphins, sharks, and even other whales. Picture a python that breathes air and screams underwater. This creature marked the end of the age of sea monsters, replaced not by reptiles, but by mammals. The ocean didn't lose its monsters, it just gave them lungs. And that, my friends, is evolution's best joke.